Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the combination sum problem. Let's see a statement first. Given a set of candidate numbers, candidates without duplicates, and their target number target, find all unique combinations in candidates where the candidate numbers sums to target. The same repeated number may be chosen from candidates unlimited number of times. All numbers including target will be positive integers. The solution set must not contain duplicate combinations. Uh, combinations. So as this problem only have positive integers, so we can try to sum up, uh, keep sum up all the numbers. But when sh uh, should we stop? Uh, then we need to find the base case. The base case should be when we sum up uh, like this two multiple times, then its sum is exceeded, uh, then the target we will uh, stop and try to add the uh, uh, next uh, three and uh, keep doing this. This problem is a classic uh, problem using backtracking uh, to solve it. Mm, we we should notice that uh, these uh, candidate numbers are actually a set. They don't have duplicates. So when we uh, try to choose one number and do the recursion, the keep searching, we should uh, st still start from the current number. And uh, we, when we unchoose, we just need to uh, remove the last element in the temporary list. So uh, basically, we will use backtrack, but there is some detail we need to not uh, pay attention to. So let's solve it. We need a list. It will be result array list. And then we will call a help function. Finally, we just return this result. So let's see how to implement this help function. Okay, we will, uh, the first uh, parameter will be the result list. And we also need the temporary list. We also need the candidate, candidates, and the targets. Also, we need the index, which means the current, uh, the s start index for this search. So what will the base case be? When the target less or equal than zero, we should stop because we will not use another variable to uh, record the, the accumulate sum. We will just uh, uh, minus from this target. So if it's less or equal than zero, this is the best case. If the target equal to zero, we should uh, add uh, uh, this temporary list into our result list, but we do we cannot just add the temporary list because it's a reference, uh, which means when next time the temporary list changes, the result list will also change. So we just need a snapshot of the current temporary list and the return. So this is the recursion part. The i will start from the index i less than the candidate candidates dot length i plus plus we just uh, add the, the cu current uh, i into the temporary list and do the recursion thing we start from the result the temporary and uh, the candidates the target will uh, sub subtract this um, candidates candidates i and uh, this index will also be i because we can use it multiple times. And uh, we remove we remove the uh, last element size minus one. Okay. Oh, minus one. So let's fill this part. That will be the result. New arrays. And that will be the candidates, and the target will be target, and the starting index will be zero. So, okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.